let's try and remove a uh, plastic connector from the PCB so first thing first is a bit of flux what I'm using is a preheater not too expensive but a cheap preheater made by Tenma and I think this has been unfortunately discontinued flux bit of leaded solder okay I need to keep the bod still with something um, 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 a magnet <laughs> shit that Okay, and um, ba, 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 ba. okay, hot air. Now, this time around, I'm using a cheap hot air station at an 858D. So, it's a cheap hot air station, though, so don't expect magic. I hope I can sort of uh, stop nudging this uh, cheap microscope setup, right? Okay, so let's. Oh, for God's sake. I need to hold this uh, motherboard in place with something because it's rocking so let me just strap this onto the uh, hot plate with a bit of a foil tape there we go hopefully that will do it and let's go back at the uh, removal process of the uh, Funny enough, the cheap hot air station didn't damage the connector compared to the Metcal, which did dis sort of uh, distribute a lot more heat. So, um, let's move the PCB. Okay. Let's have a look at the connector in question. There's a very little deformation here on this corner, very little, hence it doesn't sort of affect the uh, function at all. It's probably because I kept the hot air station sort of focused on that air angle sort of a thing so there was more heat sort of exposed to the area, but the opposite side is perfect. Um, so yes, I mean again and again, preheater helps. You know, if you have, if you can buy one, it doesn't have to be expensive. Any any cheap preheaters, but try and avoid buying preheaters which are large, uh, because effectively what you're doing is you're exposing um, hot air to the entire PCB or the bottom of the PCB. Um, so, and and thing to remember is when you're sort of uh, exposing heat, try and avoid areas with these sort of capacitors on because that can actually sort of uh, you can act you can quite easily damage these capacitors by exposing too much heat um, so I think in sort of saying that what I'm going to do is I've, I've never attempted to sort of remove one of these capacitors actually by the use of a preheater so let's try and see if we can have any luck with this. Um, okay, so 
what I'm going to do is first thing first is apply a bit of flux and I'm going to test this capacitor with the ESR meter once I've removed it to see if I've damaged it so let's turn up the preheater but this time around I'm going to turn up the preheater to about 150 Put it in more in view. There we go. Any chance of getting more light? It is not. I'm going to leave a large solder blob there. You'll know why. The idea is leaving the large blob of solder will penetrate the underside of the uh, underneath the uh, capacitor. So, okay, so let's sort of uh, get the hot air station and the tweezer in hand. So, again, I'm using the Atten. Um, cheap Atten uh, 858D I need to sort this extractor fan out ok so yes the hot uh, preheat is set at 150 160 I would imagine and let's try and crack on and see if I can remove this capacitor without damaging it moving okay so done let the capacitor cool down to another preheater now let's move this out of the way put this capacitor back on the uh, bench since I haven't attached my second dirty camera the viewing is going to be crap I'll wait for the uh, capacity to cool down while I grab my ESR tester ESR tester capacitor tester for Equivalent series resistance, what ESR stands for. Let me find my probe. It's a shame that I didn't attach the secondary camera, so otherwise you would have seen exactly what I'm doing. Let me see if Open Broadcaster would detect the second camera, if even after sort of. Uh, Starting the recording, let's see if it would. Oh yes it has, right, okay, voila. Superb, magic, well done, excellent. So let's try and put this board somewhere. Remove the preheater. Almost dropped the camera. Oops, that was close. That was close. Okay, so now let's 
turn this on. Trying to get an angle where you can actually see it properly. See if I can, if you can. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get, and that's the capacitor what I've removed. And I always recommend to use uh, gloves. Now, what's the capacity on this? I I can barely see the writing on it, but what we'll do is uh, we'll run a test anyway. Don't touch components with your bare hand. It's very naughty of me. Very naughty of me. Should not do that. Okay, so let's so it's a seventy uh or seventy-five, I think it's seventy because the writing was a bit smudged off then it's seventy seven microfarad or sixty-eight microfarad, it's one or the other, I'm not quite sure. It's one or the other. Let's rerun the test again. You can't see it, can you? So, yeah, that was quick and easy, again, with the help of the preheater. Um, so, anybody in the professional field of uh, SMD work, I, I, would, I, would, I'd, I would advise you to sort of have a preheater. It's, 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 you know, it helps. It certainly helps. So, and remember, sort of, I did a video upload on uh, Peak Atlas. Uh, I had a visit to Peak Atlas, and... Uh, this is the case which I was given as a uh, courtesy. Um, very nice people. Very pleasant. And uh, I, I certainly will be going back as soon as I have uh, something else to buy. And uh, I picked up this uh, DCA Pro 75 to sort of test uh, transistors and... Uh, Zena diodes and things like that. And, uh, yep. Focus. Oh, right, okay. That's all for now.